Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, today I'll talk about uh, hybrid track approach and uh, Sparrow Parse uh, library, which helps to pre-process uh, data for better uh, LLM processing. Right, so uh, the idea is that uh, based on my experience, uh, LLM is able to process form data quite well, but uh, it may struggle with large tables and may struggle to extract uh, columns from large tables uh, and so on. And large table, I mean, uh, like a single, uh, the, the, the table which spans for the single page, for example. Uh, so it's not uh, exactly huge, but uh, in terms of actual data, but uh, in terms of the document layout. And uh, the way, uh, the, the thing, uh, the, what I'm implementing inside Sparrow is hybrid, hybrid approach. Uh, uh, there'll be option obviously to use LLM functionality for entire document, but uh, there'll be a flag uh, to to tell that uh, please use LLM for the form data extraction only, let's say, and use uh, a Sparrow Parse library, <coughs> sorry, for uh, uh, for the table extraction, and LLM only for the form uh, data extraction. And uh, in this case, uh, we'll pass option tables, option HTML, uh, because there'll be uh, different ways how uh, data is being preprocessed. One will be with, with HTML using constructed. Then there's a markdown, and maybe there, there'll be some other approach as well. So uh, if uh, preprocessing is with HTML, this means uh, PDF data is being translated uh, uh, to HTML structure, in particular tables are being translated to HTML tables and then uh, through HTML tables we are extracting data by matching uh, uh, query field names with the column names and then reading the actual column data. Okay, and here I'm executing this request and uh, extracting the data using a structure. Here is the form data uh, which is completely unstructured and then here we get uh, items. This is the uh, table that represents invoice items. And then there's one more table, which uh, is a summary table with totals. So we've got two tables in this case. And uh, uh, if you look into the uh, query, then uh, there's a section with the types. So uh, out of the box, all the fields uh, with non uh, collection types like in string and so on, those will be processed by LLM because we assume those are coming from form uh, data and uh, other fields when uh, the type is list, then uh, in combination if the option table, option HTML is passed, then uh, those fields will be extracted by Sparrow parse. So this is the differentiation. Okay, uh, so we've got two tables, then uh, this is what I'm explaining now. Uh, uh, Sparrow checks which fields should be retrieved with LLM based on types. So invoice number, invoice date, IBAN, total gross worth. So those four are retrieved uh, with LLM. And then uh, query for form data is executed. And then uh, we are passing target columns uh, that uh, mapped with the list type, like description, quantity, net price, net worth, VAT and gross worth from the, so all those columns should be retrieved from the invoice items table. Then those uh, query fields are matched using uh, sentence transformers uh, library, are matched with the column names, actual column names from the HTML. And we can see Similarity scores reported so, like uh, VAT from the query field is matched correctly with VAT name uh, from actual table and and so on. So you can check uh, how it works. And then uh, in the result we can see that um, the fields that are not list type fields are being fetched by LLM, and the rest, the the collection with values per each row is being fetched by the Sparrow parse directly from uh, from actual uh, HTML table structure. Okay, and the good thing about this approach is that 
uh, when we extract data directly with Sparrow parse from the table, there, there, are, there is a zero hallucination uh, because we are reading actual data and we are not pa passing it through LLM. So there is no chance uh, for the hallucination and this means we get actual data as it is. And from my experience, when trying to use LLM with table data because it's a more complex structure, there are high chances that um, LLM could uh, hallucinate with table data. And this is, <clears throat> it works fine with form data, but as uh, table uh, structure is more complex, there are more chances to hallucinate. And performance, because we are not using LLM to process uh, table data, but we are directly reading it from HTML. Uh, the runtime performance obviously is much better. Yeah, <clears throat> so uh, this is this code is not yet on a GitHub. I'm testing it with different combination of PDFs and um, improving Sparrow parse with different uh, processing methods for different table combinations. Uh, but quite soon it will be published. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.